Mr. Verma, distinguished uh, dignitaries in the dais, ladies and gentlemen. The challenge for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting was that how do you commemorate 100 years of a magical experience? Do you try and uh, outdo the film industry collectively at uh, creating extravaganzas and magical moments? Or you, in a manner which is dignified, sublime, humble, and yet something which could be underscored, try and put together an experience which would synthesize these hundred years and commemorate them in an appropriate manner. So therefore, after a lot of uh, churning of the minds, a lot of uh, splitting of the skulls, we came up with this idea that before the National Film Awards, we would try and curate a week-long festival which would truly try and uh, capture the essence of an experience which has grown not because of the government but despite the government over the past hundred years. And if there is something which uh, truly epitomizes uh, the unique diversity, the spirit, the ethos of this country, and its soft power for which it has got acknowledged around the world, it all, it all comes back to one magical name called Indian cinema in its diversity, linguistic, cultural, regional, encompassing each and every aspect of India. As we look towards the next hundred years, we in government have tried to see as to how we can facilitate that experience to ensure that uh, the uh, creative energies and the potential of our filmmakers is not wasted in uh, running around bureaucratic hurdles. And that is why, as uh, Mr. Varma was pointing out, the one thing that we've done is to try and set up a single window clearance system, uh, which, of course, at this point in time is uh, looking outwards to see if we can get foreign filmmakers to come to India. But I do recognize that there has been a certain level of uh, criticism that the playing field needs to be leveled and domestic film producers need to be given uh, the same, uh, same field to play on. And it will be our endeavor uh, to see that we work with state governments because we live in a federal reality and we can create a modus vivandi which can facilitate uh, the entire processes or expedite the entire process of clearances so that people can focus on the creative bit. The other thing that we have done is that we have a cinematographic act which goes back to 1952. And since 1952, the world, and especially the world of cinema, has transformed itself completely. And to see as to how we can keep up with the times, we've constituted a committee of very eminent people under uh, Chief Justice Mukul Mudgal, who, in addition to being the Chief Justice of the Punjab and Haryana High Court, is also somebody who is very aesthetically and creatively inclined, to see as to how this entire architecture, this legal architecture, can be overhauled, the contradictions between the state and the federal government when it comes to certification of films can be reconciled so that you don't have a situation where producers have to go hat in hand from secretariat to secretariat to see that their films get screened. And without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, and without standing in the way of uh, this magical experience, which I'm sure all of us will would enjoy, may I thank you all 
for coming here and being a part of the celebration. Thank you very much.